Hey guys, welcome back to Low RC. I'm out here with Wyatt today, just behind Crawler County. And today we're gonna do something a little different. We've got a couple products to review. Um, recently, we were reached out to by Timu, an online re retailer. Um, we didn't know much about Timu at the time. So, you know, I got on their website and checked out some of their RC selection. They you know, asked us if we wanted to review a couple RC products that we chose. So I looked at their stuff and found a couple of good values but after seeing a couple things that caught my eye. And of course, we're always looking for a good deal and we want to share these good deals with you when we can. On with our unboxing. Wyatt's gonna start and, with this blue box here and see what we got. And I think this is really cool. I have heard of these before and never actually seen them. But these are inflatable 2.2 beadlock tires. You know, they're really different. I mean, that's all I can say about them. Just something we wanted to try out, just a different experience. You know, we're used to the foam filled tires and that sort of thing, but we've had commenters over the years say they use air filled tires. So I saw these on there and we thought we'd try them out. Now I've got a project that I'm working on that these tires will be used for. They come with four tires, all the beadlock rings. The rim itself is plastic, but the rings are metal. And I already have this one put together. It's got the little valve there. Comes with a pump to pump them up. And then here's one that's unassembled. Of course you just Screw them together, put your screws in there. The only thing I will note, the screws that come with these are Phillips screws, but I'm sure you could swap those out for hex hardware if you wish to. But yeah, really cool tires. Can't wait to try these out on a rig, maybe a couple rigs, and see how they perform. They ought to be fine at least. So there's that first item and we'll have the link to that in the video of course all these links will be in the description of this video and this one here is the one that's really cool i've seen this on several channels and this is just one of the coolest rc cars in my opinion as far as details and scale looks that there is not a performance based car but as a model that's an rc car it doesn't get any better than this and why it's opening the box here okay there it is that is the rock hobby kubel wagon and it is just hey let's peel that thing off the windshield there oh this Yep. An extraordinary detailed RC car. Um, Wyatt's going to take a look around it here. Check out the seats, Wyatt. There's metal. I don't know. Yeah, they are. They got metal, little metal things for the mirrors. That's really cool. Why it's getting his mirrors adjusted. Huh. But check out the seats. They're actually fabric seats. The door handles actually work to open and close the oh, doors. Cool. You know what that thing is right there? What? This? Yeah, now right here in the middle. That's got like little grooves in it. This? It's a gun rack. Oh, cool. Yeah. What's this? Is this a trunk? storage. I think the seat folds down too. And we are going to take this over to Crawler County and trail it around here in a minute and show you how scale it looks on a nice dirt trail. And we'll test the performance of it slightly. Not the not going to be your typical rock crawler, but still a lot of fun for an RC car. And this has a fantastic price on it through Timu. It is considerably cheaper than anywhere else I've been able to find it, and I've had my eye on this one for a while. All right, check out the back there. 
What? This? Yep. Was it like the engine? Yep. Got the motor in there. And look, see the belt on it? When it drives, all the gears and the fan, they actually turn. Huh. So, super cool. So if I were to roll this. Is yeah, it moving? Yeah, it's moving. Let's see that. Yeah, yeah, there we go. I don't know if we can be able to see that on the video. It's kind of hard to see. Yeah, we'll see if we can zoom in on that. But it comes with a pretty simple remote, but it has a lot of functions on it. You can control the lights. It's got a two-speed transmission, and I think it's selectable between two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive as well. Is there something under the hood? Yeah, that's where the battery goes. Let's take a look underneath this thing. Oh, wait. Before we do that, let's look down in here. It even has, like, wood grain. See that on the floor? Yeah. Looks like real wood. Underneath, got portal axles in the rear, metal drive shafts, a nice flat bottom for sliding over dirt and rocks, and a really cool, realistic suspension, too. So we're going to go ahead and charge a battery pack up, throw it in, and take this over to the course and see how it looks. Okay, so here we have the Kubel wagon. We brought it over here to Crawler County. And some cool things that we've noticed right away is why it was pretty impressed that you actually push a button on it, like a real car, to start it right there next to the steering wheel. And the steering wheel actually turns with the steering, which is really cool. It's got turn signals, lots of different light modes. We figured out the high speed and low speed. It's got open differentials. Just the more we look at this thing, the more details and cool stuff it has. So, like I said, this thing is a really good price. So, you know, if you're ever looking to add this to your collection, this might be the time to do it.
Thank you Timu for sending this our way to try out. We love it. And you guys out there, if you're looking for a collector's item, a really scale looking cool RC car, this could be the one. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later. One more thing we're gonna add before we go. We did figure out how to select two wheel drive and four wheel drive. And it's actually on the same button that you use for your lights. You just hold it down and in a couple seconds it switches and then you hold it down again to switch it back so pretty cool so we'll see you next time thanks for watching